Hey everyone. Okay, so hopefully you went about and you created your little journal that I have the tutorial on. So I'm just going to show you ways that um, you're going to fill the signatures within it. And there's two sections here and we use a good sturdy um, cardstock, like a heavyweight paper for a little bit of added support. So now the fun part is we're going to go through and just select a variety of papers to put within our art journal um, so that we can, you know, get going on our mandala diaries. And everybody's is going to be a little bit different because we all have different supplies and different papers. So what I want you to keep in mind is just use a variety of of different papers and this can, these can be scrap papers that you find or I've got a collection here of a number of different colored um, papers I go down to my local paper, paper store and get a bunch of samples so I can you know try a little bit of everything and I'm also going to incorporate some craft paper within it and you can just kind of go through your supply and see what you've got and I like this paper that I have because there's a lot of pattern on it but what's nice is um, it's more monochromatic so you can work with like a white gel pen or a black um, oil pen on top of it and you're still gonna see some you know amazing mandala work so these are wonderful pages to put into your art journal because you've already got a little bit of something here and we can do our mandalas right on top for those days where we're just doing our mandala drawings and we're not doing um, surface design. And then I've also got a number of jelly prints here that I've done and I'm gonna incorporate some of that into it too. I'm just gonna try to find um, some patterns. I also have photocopies of some of my artwork uh, and some of my girlfriend's art, Robin McClendon. I'm not sure that I'm gonna use the artwork. This is a great piece of paper. Oh, I better pull that out. I think this was one of my um, papers that I was just cleaning my brayer off with. But, um, you know, that kind of thing is really fantastic. I'm gonna make another art journal with this. But these kind of pages are great because um, with that, if you've got that white Signo Uniball white gel pen that uh, I have a link for on my website, this is amazing. Like to have these dark backgrounds to work with. So, so I'm just gonna have you guys kind of tag along. Maybe I can give you some ideas. We're gonna cut our papers down to size and I'm really going to use a combination of everything so let's just get started by cutting papers down um, so that you know we can put those in our journal and look at I've got some yum goodness on the other side too so the pages that we put into our journal if you remember were a nine by eight and a half so we don't trim it this way we're just going to cut a little bit off the, the edge there so that we've got nine inches. Let me just double, double check. Yeah, nine inches. Okay. So I'm going to start with this one. I think I'm going to, I like the navy blue inside on this side. I don't really want to get rid of it. So. Trim a little bit of that down. Whoops. So there's one page. I'm going to take some of these colored pages. I'm just going to get a variety here. And there are a variety of thicknesses and textures. all those at once easy because they're already eight and a half by eleven so we just need to do some trimming here 
And then these are already cut down. Let's see, these are... Okay, so these are just shy of nine, but you know what? I'm going to use them because it's okay. Let's see? Yeah, if they're a little bit short. Okay, so we're going to go... Gosh, I'm confused again. So these are... Okay, so I gotta do these ones eight and a half. And it's nice to try um, a variety of colors and textures. yellow and orange one. Look at that pretty color on the back. That's a good one. Front and back. Beautiful for doing mandalas on this one as well. Of, a little bit of different colors in here. I really thought there would be more blue. A couple of those. Put that away. I do have some papers down here too that I'm going to pull up. This might be an interesting one, the black with polka dots. These are just a little too busy. Ooh, I like this. So this has a map on it. That could be really fun. I think this could be nice too, mixing some geometrics. These might be a little... Too busy here. But these are nice because we can do um, jelly printing or something on the back of it. I like this green. Okay. I think these I was going to save for another journal. So. I'll put those aside and I'll start cutting some of these down. Okay. All right. I can't wait to get started on our mandala diaries. We're going to have so much fun, you guys. And I get really excited when I start looking at, you know, all this um, paper that I'm going to use in it. Okay, so let's see. Uh, yeah. this flower part off. I know I'm just talking to myself here okay I should have had all these papers cut for you guys but I 
guess it's a good way for you to see, you know, how I prepare this journal, especially if you followed along with the tutorial. Um, a little bit of an episode there where my camera went flying. So <laughs> I'm back. All right. Okay, so I've got those all ready and I wanted to get this map in there. I thought this could be really neat for doing a Mandela or What makes the mandalas so exciting is when you have a really creative background. So just keep that in mind when you're selecting papers. Make sure you get, you know, a variety of papers to um, create on top of. And I'm going to have my jelly prints here. I'm going to have a couple... downloads for you on if you just look below the video so that you can use some of my artwork in your journals as well. Let's see. Okay. And it'll be fun because then when, you know, I'm working, we're doing our mandala work on one of these pages, you'll have the same pages as I do. I like this one too. But I took a piece out. Yeah, I won't be able to use that one's not big enough. Um, let's see what else I've got here. This glue would be really nice in there. There's a great gel pen. Okay. Let me cut this one down. And then I think we're in a good spot to start here. So I've got all my papers. Okay, all these are going to go into my journal. And so the only thing we have to do now is go through and fold all the pages in half. Of course, I'm looking for my bone folder, which I know I had on here a moment ago. There it is. <laughs> okay, and let's just go through for the time being and fold the pages. Okay, make sure some are inside, outside. These ones have prints on both sides, so it doesn't really matter. Pretty sure I'm going to speed up this video so that you don't have to sit here and watch me fold every single piece of paper.
together. Okay, now that you have all your signatures, or sorry, your pages folded, um, what you want to do is go through and mix them up so you kind of have a little bit of, you know, everything in there. So you want to get some of your jelly prints with some plain paper and your craft papers in between. And we're going to make two stacks. So I haven't really been counting, but it's okay. And all these papers are different weights. I'm just mixing them up. Turn this one this way because I like those colors together. Jelly prints. Okay, I could probably put some more in this one. Um, I'll do that. Center. 
Okay, there. So once you have your two signatures sorted out with your papers, got one here and one here. And the lovely thing about this journal is you can always add more pages. Then all you do is slip them in like so. Do the same thing over here. Oops. And we've got our journal all ready to go for our mandala diaries. How exciting. And um, it just fills this little journal with a lot of inspiration for us to do our mandalas. And we've got some nice textural paper that's already done. And then for those plain pages over here, we've got some color. So when we do our mandala, we don't just have the plain white underneath. And we're also going to do some finishing uh, using paint and a variety of other art um, materials such as inks and watercolors. So we're going to do lots of good stuff in these little journals. But look at this. It's just a great uh, starting point before we start our mandala diaries. And once you get all your little mandalas in here, when you follow along with me through the tutorials, you're going to end up with a fabulous little mandala journal. And like I mentioned, there's just, I mean, we've got a lot more room. We could plug in a lot more pages within this journal. So we really have a lot to work with. I mean, this isn't even anywhere near being thick. We've got um, tons of papers we can fit in there. So now we are completely ready to start our mandala diaries and I'm just gonna let you know a couple tools that I recommend before you start um, going through all the tutorials with me. Oh I just bought this one and it's still taped shut. So I recommend getting a protractor. This one's pretty tiny but since we're working in a little journal it's perfect it looks like it's only four inches and I do have one that's um, six in inches long as well but this is a good little one to work with so you want to make sure you have your protractor and your compass so that you know you can fit your pencil in there and we can get started on doing some guides um but i will let you know we're not going to get to this right away we're going to work more online and design and doing freeform mandalas and then we're going to get technical so you've got some time you can get prepared and make sure you have something like this they do have um i do have a link i'll have a link down below where you can access these tools um and uh, you can also find them at your local, you know, markets and uh, craft stores as well. And then a couple other things I want to recommend that you get, though, is um, a variety of pens, gel pens, oil pens, inks, markers. You can use Sharpies. These are some of the ones that I use. So I've got like the Craftsmart oil pens. I've got fine, the fine tip. And the reason why I like using these is if you've got a really thick jelly print, um, a lot of the gel pens won't work when you're trying to uh, draw on top of it, but these work fantastic. So this is a good one. And then these gel pens, these are the Signal Uniball ones. And I've got... Um, I've got a link on my website. Actually, I'm going to have a link below. It'll take you to the website where you can order them online. These are fabulous when we're working on colored paper. 
Uh, and then we do like our washes. They're amazing to work with. And the white looks so pretty on the colored paper. So I highly recommend you get one of those. I've got one in gold as well. Uh, and then I've got a couple like this one's a recollection pen. This is in, in or it's a marker in silver. Um, it's a metallic. I like to use. This is one that I tried. I think it's just a craft ornament one. I don't, okay, I'm going to put that one away because I don't like that one. Sorry. But these Craft Smart metallic ones, you can get them in all different colors. So if you've got some of these lying around, just make sure you get the fine tip. Uh, and then another good one to have, especially when you're working on craft paper, is um, the fine tip retractable Sharpie. So these are some of my recommendations when we're doing our mandalas. Uh, one more thing you want to have is a ruler. All right. And your pencil, eraser, and then we're set. So protractor, compass, pencil, eraser, and then a variety of gel pens, markers, um, and oil pens. And we'll get started right away. So I can't wait for you guys to join me on my first video in Mandela Diaries, and we're going to have so much fun. So we'll see you soon.